everyone. So we just looked at scale in the last video, and so now we're going to look at chords. Scales are fun, of course, you can improvise. Little melodies and little solos, but it's more fun if we have a way of um, balancing the scales with chords, with harmony. And then these notes will have different meanings depending on, on what chord is underneath. Now, we looked at uh, the C major scale just a few minutes ago. And that major scale was made up only of natural notes. There was C, D, E, F, G, A, B, no sharps, no flats. So if we want to accompany ourselves, or we want to play with somebody else, and we're playing in C major, the chords we're playing, we would also like them to be made up only of natural notes. It wouldn't make sense to, you know, mix and match notes that are not, um, well, you know, mixed notes that are not matched in the scale. So if we play C major, and then we play a chord maybe like D major, which is an F sharp, and on top of it we keep trying to play the major scale that we studied before, which is an F. This is the sound we get, alright? So we really want to have our notes to be, you know, not consonant, but they have to agree with each other. So your scale has to agree with your chords. How we do that? It's very simple. We create chords only with the seven notes that we already have. So if our major scale, uh, if this is not clear, please go back to the, to the previous video. If uh, the major scale is made up, our major scale is made up of C, D, E, F, G, A, B, then our chords will have to be built simply using these seven notes. All right. And so without getting too technical, there are, um, of course, seven chords, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, will build one chord for each one of these notes. And then the other notes that compose the chords have to match our scale. So it's not enough to have the root of the chord, the, the, the note that gives the chord its name, to be natural, to be C, D, E, F, G, uh, without sharps and flats. But also the other notes that build the chord should not include any sharps or flats. Okay, so here's an example. If we play D, we have two options. We can play D minor we can play D major, right? Real simple stuff. Now, which one of these should we use? Well, if our scale is C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and my chord is D, A, D, F, great, well, all these notes agree with my scale. If I play uh, D major, I'm playing an F sharp here, and the F sharp does not agree with my scale. You see what I mean? So all the chords, we have to go through that process. If we play E minor, it's uh, E, G, B, great, they're all natural. If I play E major, it sounds really good, but it won't sound good on, you know, underneath my scale because it has a G sharp, and G sharp is not admitted and is not included in my scale. All right, so this is how it works. It's really simple. We, we build chords using the notes that are already part of our scale. So we don't go out of those boundaries. For now, of course, you know, when you, when you become more advanced, you actually want to go out, and there's plenty of ways to do it. Um, so anyway, without further ado, I'll give you seven chords that will work with your basic major scale. All right, here they are. Okay, great. So again, Happy New Year, and I hope you have a great, great 2011 full of uh, happiness and success, and uh, art and music and knowledge and whatever else you interest you. And um, these two videos, if you're a beginner, will be very helpful. Just study them. Of course, they're little snippets of knowledge. They're not, uh, you know, uh, a complete course, but they should give you enough information for a while, for a few, maybe for a few days, maybe for a few weeks. And after that, maybe you can go back to the older videos and you'll find out that some things will start to make sense. All right. Thanks a lot. And I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.